I come on the wings of love in honor of you who have been working so diligently and so earnestly to anchor the light into the earth. You have been doing a magnificent job, and I, Lord Buddha, and the rest of the family of light salute each and every one of you. Each day upon the planet Earth, more and more of your individual and collective light is igniting and radiating outwardly. It is a glorious sight to see. There is literally a rainbow of light springing up in many locations on the earth, and as this light grows and radiates across the surface of the earth, they join together in a rainbow, a glorious rainbow of light, which in turn creates an aura that circles the entire planet, and this rainbow of light is growing in intensity. Each color is vivid, intense, and clear. This rainbow sphere of light that surrounds the earth is a great blessing to humanity and all inhabitants upon the planet. As it grows in intensity and radiance, what is occurring is a blending of all the colors of each of you, and it is symbolizing the unity of consciousness within humanity. This is a significant breakthrough, beloved ones. We upon the higher planes are so joyful and in celebration to see this occurring, for it indicates that unity consciousness is occurring within humanity, and we also see the other kingdoms upon the earth working in unison with you as you call them forth. What is occurring is that we are all working together in unity, and as this unity consciousness continues to grow, the light upon the earth grows ever brighter. There is a golden glow surrounding everything, and this is the Christ consciousness being beamed down upon the earth and all her inhabitants. Continue in your daily prayers and decrees. Continue to stand in your light, for this is so crucial and necessary in the days ahead. Take one day at a time. Honor yourself and the light that you are. Remind yourself often of the light and the divinity that you truly are. First thing each morning, intend that you walk through each day upon the earth fully integrated in your own energy, in your own power, and in your own sovereignty, the sovereignty of your eternal divine essence. As these days continue, more and more of you will be coming into Christ consciousness. A potential exists for an enormous critical mass of ignition or implosion of the higher frequency light manifesting upon the earth, blessing the earth, healing the earth, and changing everything upon the earth. This is what is the great potentiality for the planet Earth and all of her inhabitants. Keep on keeping on. You hear this from us so often, and it has more than one meaning. It is an encouragement to continue to stand in your light. It is an encouragement to not give up hope. It is an encouragement also that the world that you wish and desire to manifest is close to occurring. When we speak in terms of close to occurring, we are not talking in linear terms, we are talking in cosmic terms. 
but rest assured, in linear terms, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Know that we all work together. There is great harmony and cooperation. The light workers of the world are working in the etheric realms and coordinating the groups that exist upon the earth, and each has their function, and each is performing admirably their function, and it all works together in harmony and unity of purpose. At the heart of all this effort is the single purpose of the divine plan to restore the earth and all of her inhabitants to create upon their world a true heaven on earth. I am Lord Buddha.